hey welcome back to my channel well welcome to my channel it has been so long since i recorded a video um i am really going to be more consistent with um youtube this year um i was very 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 inconsistent um these past few years i've been on youtube i had one 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 time when i was consistent but anyways i'm gonna try my very best to be very consistent because i have a lot of things to bring to you guys and i'll definitely talk about that in another video but today's video is about my hair and all of its glory so i am one year natural i big chopped january 18 2018 so i am one year natural um i'll insert a picture of my big chop um my hair texture I would say is a 4C if you want to go by that chart. Um, but I have really, really, really coarse hair, coily hair. My hair shrinks like up to my scalp. It's like when I when I put water on it, it's definitely not going to look like this anymore. So what I'm going to be doing today is a, um, a pre-poo, a co-wash, and a deep conditioner and I'm going to do a wig prep video so this video is going to be to see if I got heat damage from my uh, one year uh, natural versary silk press um, I'll insert a picture of that as well um, so yeah I'm just gonna wet my hair and the products I'm going to be using today is heavenly halo by the main choice you guys can see that it's a pre poo um, the directions say to, where are they, before cleansing, um, I'm not using a whole line, so I'm using like a couple of different products from different lines, but whatever. I like what works on my hair, but I am trying two new products and this is one of them. So the directions say to, um, before cleansing, uh, massage gently into dry hair and distribute evenly, especially to the ends. Wait five minutes, then use fingers to to gently loosen tangles. Leave it up, leave it in up to fifteen minutes, then rinse well with lukewarm water. Okay, so I was actually I'm actually glad I read these instructions because I, I was going to spray my water and my hair and damp it dampen it a little, but I'm not gonna do that. It's just to apply to dry hair, so okay. And then I'm going to be using the Miel, Miel, I think that's how you say it, Babasu and Milk Deep Conditioner. You guys can see that. And um, this one has protein. It's a protein slash moisture replenisher for dry and damaged hair. Um, my hair is dry. I have low porosity hair, so my hair does not really... Um, whole moisture as good as it should so i have to use products that have um thick consistencies as well as moisture uh the ability to moisturize okay because my hair is dry and bone dry so this one says after shampooing section hair into fours apply our deep conditioner to clean damp hair from root to tip cover with plastic cap for 15 minutes for an intense treatment sit under dryer for 30 minutes rinse hair with cool water style is desired so i'm actually thinking about sitting under the dryer um because i was gonna leave the conditioner on for a few hours but i noticed that when i do that i get really lazy and then it's starts getting really late and then I start rushing trying to hurry up and finish my hair before I actually um get ready for bed and stuff and then it just ends up me rushing and I don't want to rush I want to actually take my time with my hair and um give it the, the TLC that it needs that it wants and that it, it loves so all right I'm gonna stop talking I'm going to go ahead and get started so um let me get some clips because I'm actually going to section my hair into four sections and apply this to my hair. Well, I don't really need this towel because I'm not going to be wetting my hair. So let me just go ahead and section my hair and I'm going to be looking in a mirror behind me. So...
show y'all my bold spot. So, y'all see that? Yes, yeah, so I have a bald spot right here that I'm going to be working on repairing. And I also have one on this side. And it's not from like wigs or anything. So this particular side, like I had an altercation with somebody. <laughs> i talk about that. I'll do a story tell about that one day. But as you can see, my hair right here is short because... In May of last year, I had some braids and I got into a fight. <laughs> and one of my braids got pulled out. So yeah, it grew back though. As you can see, it's shorter than this part, but it's growing back. So that's what that matters. And I put the product in and then it says to... Wait five minutes and use fingers to gently loosen tangle. Leave it up to 15 minutes and rinse with lukewarm warm. It doesn't say that I need to apply a plastic cap or anything. So I'm just going to finger detangle my hair and get any shed hairs out. gonna be my first reaction live on camera see if I got heat damage now I did want to mention that the back of my hair texture is a little looser than the rest the back and like some of the sides but the middle I could already tell that I don't got heat damage up here so let's see I told y'all my hair was gonna shrink all the way up okay so I don't see any stringy pieces. And my hair is still wet. Whew, who would have ever thought I'd be on camera looking like this? Okay. All right. So I don't see any stringy pieces at all. My hair has completely reverted. Back. You see how the back pieces are looser than the front. So, but that still didn't even get heat damage. I am, look at that shrinkage. Look at that. Shrinkage is the realest of the real, okay? Look at this. Look at that. It's so real. All right, so I'm getting ready to section my hair off in four sections. I have some water here in case my hair starts to dry out. I'm going to be using the... Miel, Miele, Miel, Miele. You know who you are, girl. Um, this Babasu and mm, milk, mint. Babasu and mint deep conditioner for my deep treatment mask. And like I said, it does have protein in it. Um, I haven't done a protein treatment in. A little minute. I'm trying to use my fingers because I don't want to use a comb. I try to use as little tools as possible because I like low manipulation. But anyways, I'm not going to talk through this part. I'm just going to... pattern it's very tight it's like a four let's see it's like a four z <laughs> hope y'all can see that I'm 
my hair down to go under my wig. So I'm going to actually apply some to this side because well, I got five all this off. My edges on that side. And then just take any excess product and kind of rub it into the scalp. Okay? Okay, girl. And then I have really dry nape and my hair is literally short back there. I'm trying to grow that out. So I'm passing to my nape area. And massage it in just to make sure it's the product is everywhere. Alright. And now I'm going to apply my plastic cap. And I'm dry already. So I will be back. Once I get from under the dryer, I'm gonna rinse this out with cool water and then I'm going to come back. I'm still debating. I might do a twist out just to let my hair dry. Um, not a twist out. I might do some twists in my hair versus blow drying it just to let it air dry. So I might do like some braids just to have to stretch it. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Or I could braid it while it's wet. I'm just not sure yet. Um, I'm thinking about not blow drying it just to kind of stay away from heat for a second. Um, even though I didn't get heat damage, thankfully, I definitely don't want to add any unnecessary heat. I usually heat style, I mean, not heat style, I usually let my hair air dry, just stretch it. Um, I usually let it heat, I mean, air dry in the stretched style before I actually braid it down for my wig. So, I wanted to show y'all real quick. This is how much shedding I got from the whole process so you see those little curly pieces that's after I, I uh, apply water to my hair and then the bottom is at when my hair was still in this blown out straight state so not too much shedding um I mean as you guys can see I still have a head full of hair so the shedding didn't really do much but I will be back. Let me let me shut up because I will be talking forever. But I'll be back once I am done um, under the dryer and stuff like that. So stay tuned.